Recently, many individuals have been asking questions about panic attacks. What is a panic attack? Why do I get one? How does it impact my sleep? We know that in general, when somebody is experiencing a panic attack, they can be experiencing physical symptoms. They're heart pounding, feeling faint and dizzy, lightheaded. They may have temperature changes, sweating, many different things that can happen. And what we know is that for individuals that are experiencing this, during that moment, they may be thinking that they're having a heart attack. They're thinking that there is something that should be causing extreme and intense danger to them. What's actually typically happening is that our brains are misinterpreting physical symptoms that we're experiencing. What I mean by that is this, is that our bodies are designed to protect ourselves. We have that fight or flight response that when there is a physical threat, or some type of threat that could happen to us, our body physically responds to protect itself. Our heart beats faster to, plump, to pump blood to all of our different extremities so that we can protect ourselves. We start breathing faster to bring in more oxygen. Our muscles tense up so that we can prepare to protect ourselves or to be able to flee. That's why it's fight or flight. That physical response is important to protect us when there is an actual threat. But there are many things that trigger us to have that same physical response even when the threat is not present. That's why we hear people talk about memories of stressful things that happened to them. The actual attack, for instance, could have injured them or caused them significant harm. The memory itself can't hurt you, but it triggers that same physical reaction and response. There are other things that also can cause those physiological reactions. For instance, exercise, having a lot of caffeine, doing a lot of things that can put other stress and strain on the body that can all of a sudden cause our heart to beat faster. For what many people experience is that when that physical reaction happens and they have that first panic attack, it can be very frightening, it can be very uncomfortable, and then individuals no longer want to experience it again. So as soon as they have the slightest indication that their heart may be beating faster or that there could potentially be a panic attack, then the brain kicks in and they start worrying about, well, is it going to get worse? What's going to happen? Am I going to be able to flee from this situation to calm myself down? And then that perpetuates the cycle. So when we're dealing with panic attacks, we also see that some individuals experience nocturnal panic attacks, stress throughout the day, not being able to have the opportunity to process that information, and then waking up in the middle of the night and experiencing that as well. And we'll talk about that in another Wellbeing Wednesday of why many people are waking up at two or three in the morning. So for many individuals to be able to do progressive muscle relaxation, we've talked about that before, to be able to relax the body before going to bed. When you're in an active panic attack during the day, doing things such as slowly breathing. Now it may feel very difficult to do so in the moment. So even just taking a deep breath and holding it for a moment, that helps to stop that habit of quickly breathing in and out to start to slow the breathing rate down, to help the heart to be able to relax itself. And for our minds to be able to be focused and thinking as best we can on that reminder that this is something that will quickly pass. For most individuals, a panic attack will peak about 10 minutes and then will start to decrease again. Now we know that afterwards you may feel incredibly exhausted. That's why some people will find that they actually fall asleep after experiencing a panic attack instead of the opposite of feeling that they're keeping awake and amped up. But for other individuals, if it is difficult to immediately calm down, it's okay to do the breathing exercise, to relax, to not just purposely force yourself to get back in bed until you feel that you're tired and sleepy. Be well.